See what's making news this 15th of August. And police in Victoria say they busted a significant crime syndicate after 16 people were arrested in a series of drug raids across Melbourne's southeast this morning. Officers seized cash, weapons and a huge stash of drugs, including meth, cocaine and ecstasy. Seven people are facing charges of drug manufacturing and trafficking. For Robert Allenby won't face charges despite being arrested outside an Illinois casino. The 45-year-old was picked up for disorderly conduct after missing the cut in the John Deere clique, but he claims nothing happened. Last year in Hawaii, he alleged he'd been robbed, kidnapped and beaten. Police couldn't verify the assault. Questions about performance are already being brushed off as the Aussie swim team wraps up its Rio campaign with just 10 medals, only three of them gold. We're definitely not going to uh, uh, make dramatic changes. Yes, of course, we will review and we will look for, for improvements. Jamaica's Usain won an unprecedented third gold medal in the 100 metre sprint, powering over the line in 9.81 seconds. You see that, Pricey? Yep. Halfway through the games, Australia's sitting ninth on the medal tally with six gold, seven silver and nine bronze. And the beloved Aussie Dunny is under threat, according to Senator-elect Pauline Hanson. She's cracked it over a decision to put squats in an ATO office in Melbourne to cater for staff from different cultural backgrounds. Well, if they don't know how to use our toilets, regardless of just at the ATO, our parks, convention centres, in the Aussie homes, everywhere else, then what the hell is going on? We actually have a squat toilet here at the project. Well, you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> we don't. Yeah, in the men's, the men's bathroom. You mean the ur urinal? <laughs> maybe I do, maybe I don't. <laughs> we should all be using squat toilets, though. Apparently, when I had my baby, I got taught that we should all be going to the toilet mm. with our knees up. Apparently, that's much better for your bowel well, system. It's, so we, it's, we should install squat toilets everywhere. Well, it's not like this is a religious thing. It's just some. It's a different way of doing what we all do. Mm. And maybe Paulie might. Maybe she might work it out. I mean, it's just. It's what, <laughs> Immigration's good. I mean, dim sims are a great idea, aren't they, Paul Lang? You know, like, they keep them overseas. Uh, I've done some squat toilet research since this story broke late this, oh, after, late oh, this that, afternoon. Like that, like the 100 metre? Did you give it a go? <laughs> right. I've done some proper research. Pauline's going to be very surprised because there are squat toilets in a lot of places. Mm. Adelaide, for example, University has squat toilets. Really? Two of the public hospitals in South Australia have squat toilets. Great. So, I'm shocked, I'm surprised, yes. but they're out there. Are you outraged? I might be by the end of the show. Really? <laughs> Well, speaking of outrage, Church is supposed